Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. It's that time of year again, and you may be someone who's looking to buy Christmas presents for someone who is a drone pilot. And maybe you don't know anything about drones. Well, as you can see, there are a whole lot of different drones on the market, and each one has its own specific parts and pieces and things that you do or do not want to buy. So how do you decide what to get for them? Well, never fear, Santa is here. In this episode, I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of different gift ideas and accessories and things perfect for drone pilots. I cover things for all different kinds of drones, including some products, some uh, gift ideas that will work with any drone. They're not specific to any one type of drone. I've created an entire catalog uh, on a web page. You can go through, find the drone that your pilot flies, and there's a whole list of, of products there. You can pick and choose which one you want, click the link, and order it. It's a one-stop shop to make your Christmas shopping easy and successful. So let's get started. Today I'll be discussing my Christmas catalog of gift ideas for drone pilots. In this episode I'll explain my gift ideas so you understand what they are and why your drone pilot would want them. Then in the description below you'll find a link to my catalog with dozens of links to purchase choices I recommend. No worrying about getting something for the right drone or which accessory to get, the catalog makes it easy. It's a convenient, one-stop shop for the gift ideas I cover, and a few extra ideas that didn't make it into this video. Oh, are you planning to buy a drone? I've published a separate video where I discuss the drones now available on the market to help you with your holiday shopping. The link to that video is in the upper right corner now. These two videos provide you with the ultimate source of ideas for gifts for the drone pilot in your life. By the way, if you're a drone pilot and your family is asking for gift ideas, just send them the link to this video and I'll take it from there. Full disclosure, many but not all of these links are affiliate links. As you watch this episode, you'll find that for the most part, I purchased these products myself and I use them, so I recommend them because they work. Lots of gift ideas, so let's get started. It's always a good idea to have spare propellers, an extra connection cable, and in some cases, extra sticks for the controller. Over time, it's very easy to lose these items or just need to replace them, and having extras is always handy. These are great ideas for stocking stuffers or presents from the kids. Of course, each drone uses its own props, connection cables, and control sticks. I've identified exactly what you need for each drone in my shopping catalog. Lenses get dirty and a dirty lens will ruin your shots. If you fly a Skydio 2, it's also important to keep the six navigation cameras clean so its obstacle avoidance system will work properly. There are lots of lens cleaning solutions out there. I've identified one kit that I think offers a good supply of materials at a good price. Again, this is a very inexpensive gift idea. It tends to change price frequently, so click the link in my catalog to see what it's selling for today. Modern drones have very little ground clearance. That can be a problem if you're trying to take off in grass or from an unlevel surface. Even with a launch pad, the grass beneath it can still disrupt the gimbal's ability to function properly at the start of the flight. For most drones, you can buy leg extenders that clip onto the drone and give it more clearance. Each drone uses different leg extenders and I've identified the specific extenders for each drone in my catalog. Prices vary for each drone extender, but they're all inexpensive. I've tried to select extenders from reputable companies, so your purchase should last a long time and fit well on the drone. Another inexpensive gift idea for several drones are antenna reflectors. These plastic shells slide onto the controller's antenna and improve the signal between the controller and the drone. That means a more stable video feed and potentially greater range. I tested the reflectors with the Femi X8 SE 2020 recently, and I had a more stable video feed out to 3,000 feet than I typically get flying only 1,000 feet. Not all drones have these range extenders available. Check my catalog to see if one is available for your drone. Wind has a big impact on the drone's ability to fly, particularly if you're flying a smaller drone like the Mavic Mini, Mavic Mini 2, or Parrot Anafi. 
Regardless what drone you fly, it's a good idea to know how strong the winds are at your location, and the best way to determine that is with a wind gauge, also called an anemometer. The anemometer in my catalog is the one that I use. It's inexpensive, easy to carry with you, and it works great. This is really a smart gift to give to help your drone pilot fly safely. I love the battery charger hub as a gift idea. If you have more than one battery, a battery hub allows you to connect two or three batteries to the charger at once. They still charge one at a time, but the hub will automatically change from one to another. It's a big time saver over having to swap out batteries one at a time. In a little bit, I'll talk about spare batteries as a gift idea. If you give a spare battery, a charger hub is a terrific addition to that gift. Each drone uses different charger hubs, obviously. I've identified the correct hub for each drone type in my catalog. You can never have too many media cards. I never do a flight without having at least two or three extra media cards with me. They can fail. They're small and easy to lose. They can fill up before you're done flying. Extra cards should always be kept in your drone case. You need to use a media card that's large enough and fast enough to handle video recording. There are lots of cards that just aren't up to the task and could fail to record properly. I use SanDisk Extreme Pro 64GB media cards. They have a lot of capacity, but they're still really inexpensive, and they're fast enough to record with any drone I fly. The cards linked in the catalog are compatible with all of the current drones. If you're getting media cards, consider also grabbing a media card case. This keeps your cards clean and easy to find in the drone kit. I couldn't find the exact case that I use, I've had it for over a decade, but the case linked in the catalog is the one I'd buy right now if I were getting one. Another good add-on with a media card is an adapter to read media cards through your USB port. I use these adapters every time I fly. Now let's move into some more expensive gift ideas ranging from $40 up to maybe $200. But before I do, please take a moment to hit the icon to subscribe. If you're not a drone pilot but you're just shopping for one, please share the Jeff Sebelius channel with them. But don't do it until after Christmas. You don't want to give away any of your gift ideas. I talked about a battery charging hub earlier. Along with the hub, an extra battery or two is a great gift idea. There's nothing more frustrating than running out of batteries when you're out for a day of flying. Having multiple batteries can also extend the life of all of your batteries since you're not constantly using the same one over and over. Batteries vary in price depending on the drone. I've provided links to the correct battery for each drone in the catalog. If your drone pilot is a more experienced photographer or videographer, consider getting them a neutral density filter or an anamorphic lens. I've done reviews on the filters and the lens. You'll find links to both in the upper right corner of the screen now. Those videos explain why I recommend Freewell filters. Links to Freewell filters for each drone are in the description below. If your drone pilot wouldn't be interested in these advanced photographic tools, consider getting them a UV filter instead. This filter basically does nothing for image quality, but it offers better protection for the drone's camera lens than the cheap filter that comes with the drone, if it has any filter at all. And these filters are cheap too. Check the link for your specific drone to see what their prices are. I talked about getting extra media cards before, but what if you're going on a trip? or you plan to shoot a lot of pictures and videos. You can buy a bunch of cards, but even that's risky. It's so easy to lose these tiny cards and then you lose all your precious images. Instead of buying a ton of media cards, you can get the Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro Portable External Hard Drive. Yeah, long name. There are lots of external hard drives on the market, but this one's different. First, it's battery powered. Second, it has a media card reader built in. Just plug in your media card and it automatically copies all the files to its hard drive. No computer required. You can view the contents of the hard drive through an app on your phone to confirm everything copied over before you clear the card to use it again. And of course, you can plug it into your computer and use it as a standard external hard drive as well. There are different sizes and types of these My Passport drives. I provided links to the 4TB hard drive, which is less expensive, and the 500GB SSD drive, which is more expensive. I've also provided a link to the carry case I use for my drive. 
Prices fluctuate for these drives, especially during the holidays. Click the link to see what the current price is. Now, you'll never guess what drone accessory I use more than any other. It's not something fancy, but it's something I use on probably 80% of my flights. It's the Hoodman Landing Pad. A landing pad is a terrific accessory to have for several reasons, not the least of which is protecting the drone from getting damaged by ground debris when launching or landing. There are several different launch pads on the market. Hoodman is by far the best choice in my opinion, and I've done a complete video on what makes this launch pad better than any other. That review is linked in the upper right corner now. You can get these launch pads in several sizes. A two foot or three foot launch pad is fine for almost all drones on the market now, unless you're flying something like an Inspire, then you should get a larger pad. Hey, speaking of accessories to protect the drone, what is your drone pilot using for a case? There are tons of different types of cases on the market at a wide range of prices. I've provided links to at least one case for each type of drone that I think is a good choice. I'm going to talk about just a couple here for the sake of time. If you fly a Skydio 2, the Skyrate or Skyrate waterproof hard carrying case is terrific. It has rooms for extra batteries, a battery charging hub, the beacon, a controller, and more. You can use this case to launch from, and if you buy a Skydio logo sticker off eBay, you can attach it to the case and the drone's case recognition function will work, so the drone will land precisely on the case as you see here. I've tested it and it works. If you want this case, buy it right now. It was sold out for a long time, and if you wait, it could easily sell out again for the holidays. I'm also recommending two cases, the Apache 3800 and the Apache 4800. These have foam liners. You can pluck out the pieces of foam to configure the liner however you want, so they work for almost any drone other than big beasts like the Phantoms or the Uniques. The 3800 is smaller than the 4800, otherwise they're pretty much the same. You can buy these from Harbor Freight, online or in their stores. As I said, you'll find at least one case in my catalog for each drone, along with the Apache cases. So what will you do with all these videos once you shoot them? Well, you probably need to edit them. In that case, you need a video editor program. I own two very expensive video editors, Vegas Pro and Premiere Pro. But the program I use most of the time is the relatively inexpensive PowerDirector by Cyberlink. Why? Because it's fast, easy to use, and it does a great job. I've done several videos on PowerDirector. A link to the playlist is in the upper right corner now. This includes several tutorials, so if you buy the program, you can return to this channel, and I'll teach you how to use it. You can buy PowerDirector Ultra for $100, or PowerDirector Ultimate for $140. Basically the same program, but Ultimate has a few more bells and whistles. You can also subscribe to PowerDirector 365 for under $7 a month and get the full power of Ultimate, plus a full library of transitions, fonts, audio clips, effects, and more that's updated every month. Now, I received a free copy of PowerDirector Ultimate to do a review on it. In spite of that, I pay for PowerDirector 365 because of the remarkable value of all the extras you get with that program. Now we're getting into pricier options. The next thing I'll mention is for the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic 2 drones only, and possibly the Mini 2 in the future. It's the DJI Smart Controller. This controller has a built-in screen that is far brighter than any cell phone or tablet, which makes it much easier to see in broad daylight. I just got one and I just started using it, and so far I love this thing. It's expensive, but it's a remarkable device. The regular price is $749, but click the link to confirm this if you're interested. DJI tends to offer holiday sales on several of their products, so you may get a price break on that one. Wow, I've covered a ton of information and given you loads of ideas for your holiday shopping. I've set this up so you can do all your Christmas shopping in one spot. For the most popular drones, you'll find all the product links in the description below. I have also put the catalog on a web page, and that version includes gift ideas for all the drones I've covered. So if you don't see your drone listed in the description, just go to the web page and you'll find it there. I've mentioned several videos today, episodes I've created that give more information about various products. On screen you'll find a playlist to all these videos, so be sure to check them out. 
I'll be doing more videos in 2021, so be sure to click the Cartoon Jeff icon on screen to subscribe. That's it for now. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.